All right, so how can you find social media influencers within just a few minutes? I'm actually gonna share with you guys this new tool that I discovered that's gonna help you find influencers not only just on Instagram, but on all social media platforms, super fast, and also it's gonna help you narrow down the audience that you're going after. So for those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM. Now to kind of get started, when it comes to Shopify drop shipping, you guys know the importance when it comes to driving traffic, you know, when it comes to influencers, you guys know the power behind it. Uh, influencers have been huge over this past year or so specifically. It's been, you know, you were, a lot of people have been taking advantage of Instagram influencers, but I'm, I don't only want to cover Instagram influencers because obviously you guys have probably heard about them or, you know, utilize them already. I also want to show with you guys how you can branch off and use other influencers in other social media platforms. When first getting started, this tool, I actually discovered it just browsing around because again, I'm looking for other ways that I can branch out and, you know, get traffic, not only from regular Facebook ads or Instagram influencers, but other, you know, other social media platforms because believe it or not, they were getting these shout outs from these Instagram influencers for super cheap. I'm talking about, I know people that were getting $20 shout outs and were making like three or $400 per shout out. Obviously when it comes down to it, you know, getting $20 shout outs and making four or $500 you know, for twenty dollars, that's an incredible return on investment. That's the power behind you know finding influencers on different platforms early on. The people that were able to crush you know those influencers and those type of deals were the people that start finding Instagram influencers and testing them out early on. So what I'm trying to do is show you guys how you can find, of course, Instagram influencers and how to make it your job easier. You know, when it comes to time to find these influencers, because I know for me, the old way that I would find influencers literally going on Instagram and search up hashtags and you know, just look up all these different pages to really find out where I can find specific influencers for my niche or product. You know, I wanna make that process of finding influencers a lot easier for you guys, and I also wanna share with you guys how you can find influencers on other platforms. Me and my business partner, Samir, obviously you guys may have heard us talk about, we have the P2P Dropshipping Accelerator where we teach, you know, pretty much anyone from step A to Z, how they can get started with e-commerce, right? How to build a Shopify store all the way to, you know, how to launch your Facebook ads to Instagram influencers to everything you need to know. So we actually have one student, uh, specifically Tamar, uh, you guys may or may not have seen him in some of our videos. He actually did 10 grand in one month just off of Instagram influencers. That's absolutely insane. I honestly wish I could have taken advantage and leveraged Instagram influencers just like he did. Uh, I actually missed out a whole ton on Instagram influencers and, you know, missed out when they weren't as expensive because now they're starting to learn a lot more about you know how valuable their, their audiences are, how valuable their pages are, and they're charging a whole lot more. To kind of get started, when you go on Google, I, I already have it pulled up here, but you can just search it up. It's gonna be it's called hyperbrands.com and it's gonna be hyper spelled with an R at the end, not after the, you know, it's H-I-P-R, not H-I-P-E. Yeah, my account is already logged in, but basically it requires you to use a business email that's attached to a business account. So for example, that could be your support email for your Shopify store or a contact email that you have to your website. If you guys don't have a business email, you can make one super simple. You can use, you know, when you register and you make a don uh, domain, either on Namecheap or GoDaddy, you know, a business email, a support email, it's real easy to make, it's not that hard. Then log into this page, but again, it's gonna be completely worth it. And I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you're into, if you already have your store up, you probably already have a support email, so no big deal. The best part is when it comes time to search, they make it super easy for you to find the influencers you're looking for and the audience specifically you're looking for. We'll test out the outdoor space, right? What it's gonna do is it's gonna load up all the influencers in the outdoor space and their audiences, right? So then what you can do is you can come down here. You can actually narrow down the audience you're looking for specifically within these influencers. You can narrow down the gender if you're looking for, you know, more male audience or more female audience within these influencers. You can narrow down the age group that you're looking for within these influencers, ethnicity, location, education, even household income, which is absolutely insane because when I first got started, you know, with Instagram influencers, I didn't have any resources like this that, you know, could show me this type of data. I would have to literally go one by one and search these influencers, go to their pages, message them, then to find out what kind of audience they have and a lot more. So this is gonna save you guys a ton of time and it's gonna make your process a lot easier. Now, when you come down here, you can also narrow it down based on how many followers they have. So you can do, you know, starting off with either a thousand followers as low as a thousand or as high as a hundred million followers. Because in the pricing of influencers is, you know, obviously the audience that they have, how big of a following, the engagement, and a whole lot more, right? For anyone just getting started that has a smaller budget, you may wanna start looking into influencers that maybe have like, you know, 10 or 100K around that area. For anyone that does have a, a larger budget, you can experiment with 100K plus influencers, or 100K, or influencers that have over 100K following and test out those. Now the other part about this tool that's incredible is that it shows you 
the other platforms where you can also find these influencers, right? So if you go down here and you see these influencers, you can see that this shows you the data behind their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. So you can narrow down to specifically Facebook influencers, Twitter influencers, Instagram influencers, YouTube, and Pinterest. Now that's absolutely incredible because I actually met with a buddy of mine that's in the e-commerce space, making well over six figures a month, and he actually told me that he utilizes Twitter influencers. Now that's absolutely huge because for me, I actually had never heard about anyone using Twitter influencers or trying it out. And now for me, obviously, I'm always open to new, new marketing strategies that I can always you know, implement into my business that could potentially be you know, on the cheaper side. Because again, right now, Instagram influencers are getting a lot more expensive because they're learning about, obviously, uh, the power behind their audiences and you know, their Instagram pages. So just if you can take advantage and find influencers and see how you can market on these other platforms, you're definitely gonna have a competitive edge and you're gonna be able to get a lot more return on your investment than everybody else. Now, when it comes to you know, actually looking at these influencers, when you click on their names, it gives you a ton of data, right? It shows you a whole lot of things like, you know, the, their audience's interest, the things that they're interested in. It shows you where their audience is specifically. So you can see right here for this guy, Chris Bricard, the majority of his audience, 42% of it is in the US. So obviously, depending on the products, the advertising, you can think about how to market towards the US and US based customers. You can also see the demographic of uh, his audience, the ages, the age of his audience, ethnicity, the household income, the education they have, and a whole lot more. That's absolutely insane. Obviously, when it comes to finding different influencers, you do want to take the time to you know, check their engagement, see if their engagement is real. Uh, you can do that with other websites like Social Blade, things like that. But also, this is a great website that's just gonna make your process behind finding influencers a whole lot easier. It's gonna save you guys a ton of time rather than having to go through Instagram, searching hashtags and you know, searching other people's followings and a whole lot more to just to find influencers, right? It's gonna make your process a whole lot easier. And again, time is money, so obviously if you can save time and allocate that time towards other parts of your business, it's gonna make your, you know, your business and your time more efficient. If you guys like this new tool that I just showed you guys, make sure you leave a thumbs up for the boy. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys have tried any tool just like this to help you find any other type of influencers and also let me know the experience within, if you guys have tested out any influencers within other social media platforms. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.